Hi, I've been working on a solution for people who want to have a worksheet in PDF form uploaded and then have students complete it as an assignment. Um, I've been trying to find a good solution for that problem that doesn't require students to download an additional thing. Um, there doesn't seem to be a great solution. I've posted an okay solution in another video, but I came across um, an app that and a Chrome extension that might be really useful for that problem. Again, it's something that the students would need to download that's an extra thing, um, but this might work for us. So I wanted to show it to you to see if it's something that could be a solution. So this app is called Cami and go up here, it's camiapp.com if you wanna look at it and see if it would, might work for you. And it seems to be something that's designed for classrooms and for people who want to turn PDF worksheets into something that is editable. So that's kind of, you know, that's exactly what we need. Um, and they have made it free for schools that are closed right now. And so the school-wide access, that's all free. I have signed us up for that, for that requesting an upgrade. And I haven't heard back yet, but soon we'll have, you know, all of the access that um, they give. Right now for a free account, you can do almost everything, but the one thing that you'll get in a better way with the paid version or with the school access version is integrating into Google Classroom. So um, it just has a button there saying, you know, create Cami assignment rather than having to go through all the steps. So that is coming, I've signed us up, but for now you can still do quite a bit. So if, if you wanna add this, um, what I've done is to look in the Chrome store and look for extensions and search for Kami, the K-A-M-I. Um, if students add this, they can do the same thing. It's free and then add that extension in. It'll create this little K up here. It's purple, looks like a K. Um, so once they have that, they can go into an assignment that looks like this. So I have this little sample assignment that's a math worksheet. And then when they click on it, it should say um, open with Cami. So let's do that. You can see I've kept mine a student account because I wanted to see what it lets students do. Um, I've edited this earlier and it sort of remembers though. So, um, I, I'm going to delete the stuff that I made before. Here we go. Um, here we are. Okay. So um, you can see what I did when I tried it earlier, um, but I see the left side here. What I really like about it is it's pretty, it's pretty kid friendly. Um, it's pretty easy to understand and you know, I really liked that about it. So text box is what most of you are going to need. So in this worksheet, you can go to the place where you would fill it in and just click. So you're trying to fill in from up here. So I wake up at 7 a.m. and that's it. So down here, a clock has an hour, hand, and minute hand. Um, and, and that's it. Uh, for some worksheets, I know drawing is required, especially for those music worksheets. And so you can create over here, you know, a drawing. If they want to make it pink, you can. Um, and let's say you wanted to add in a couple of music notes and you're trying to do that. So I know on a touchpad that it's a little funky, but I don't find it too hard. So if they had to write out a little music notation, they could. That's an option too. Once they're happy with the worksheet and are ready to turn it in, you can either download it to your computer and then you know upload it as the assignment. Uh, for kids who are doing this on a Chromebook, especially the middle schoolers on their Chromebook, you can save it directly to your Google Drive. So that's what I'd recommend for anyone on a Chromebook. Um, so it should auto save, but if not, you can just hit save now to make sure that it does. Um, or if like it's in the wrong folder, mine has made one called Cami Uploads. So you can make sure that it's moved to the right thing um, if you want to, if it's not already there. So after that point, let me get out of there. So after that point, you can go to your Google Drive 
and then find your Kami uploads folder, just so you know where it is. And then it should be this one. Let's open it. There it is. So you can tell it's, it's the pink ones. Um, so this is the one that we just edited with these pink music notes. Great. It's in our Google Drive folder. It's saved. It's ready to submit as an assignment. So uh, when the student is ready to submit it, here's a sample page of what an assignment might look like, <laughs> um, a different assignment. But this is the one where I'm set as a student. So when you're ready to submit your work, you always have an option to add some resources. So you would add that. You can go to your Google Drive. And then, um, yeah, that PDF that we just worked on, that's coming up first because we were just there. You can add that as a PDF to your assignment. And then you can turn in. And so then you will receive the student's PDF that we just saw that was edited in Kami. Um, so that's it. Uh, I just thought that was a cool solution if the student's OK with downloading an extra thing. Um, as soon as we get that full school access, I'm going to try it out um, to see if anything changes or if it doesn't require extra steps from students. But I wanted to share this with you because I thought it was a possible solution. So I hope it was helpful. Bye.